Hello, beautiful souls. How y'all doing? If you're new here, welcome. I'm Brainy, and this is Brainy Twin Gemini, where we talk about love, life, the law of attraction, the power of manifestation, spiritual health, growth, and fitness, and manifesting all of your dreams into reality. I'm going to be doing a Twin Flame Collective reading as it resonates. I'll also know that not everything will resonate, so pack away what doesn't and keep what does. I will be doing a masculine reading first, and then I will go on to the feminine energy. And realizing that energy is not static, it changes from day to day. We always live in the moment, so just live in the moment. Don't harbor the past. Don't worry about the future, because it actually steals the moment or the, the piece of the moment of now. So there has been huge, huge changes in the masculine energy, I want to say in the last 24 hours. So some huge shift in the masculine energy and feminine, you may feel this. So a couple of things have been going on. Um, the masculine has been overcoming some challenges with her ego as it relates to um, regret and self-worth. So they've overcome that. And as a result of that, there's a lot of truths that are coming to them. And this, I keep getting truth, 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 truth. And one of the truths that the masculine energy has unraveled within themselves is that this, this love, your love, is divine. And they realize that it came in the perfect moment in time. Even though there was a lot of, I want to say, interference and garbage and junk in the way, they realized that they needed to move that in order to make a pathway back to you. Um, they're still in this self-discovery mode, but the further they get on their journey and the further they get to finding themselves, the more truth that comes out. They know that this is true love. They feel like you were, you're an angel, you're a goddess, that you were sent by source, universe, God, divine, however you resonate, to come in and help them rediscover who they're meant to be. They, they so are grateful for you. And they're, they're, they really, truly, truly want to talk to you and just have this tender embrace. And it's beautiful. And they really want to communicate. Um, one of the things I do want to communicate to you is because through their, throughout their journey and the challenges that they face is a sense of regret. And the communication is, is hi, how are you? I'm sorry. I never meant to hurt you. I... You know, they, they've come to all of these revelations of what this journey is about. They absolutely know your twin flames. They, believe it or not, feminine energy, when you're in physical separation, the masculine has this love for you that they can't, they can't um, articulate, they can't digest, they can't, they just, they can't put any sense to it. And so even, nothing can sever your soul bond if you come together and this is truly your truly your twin nothing can sever it and it's always there and it's buried deep but when they get and they unravel um the layers and when they get to their true authenticity they realize what this is about they're on it they're on a mission they're hungry they want answers and they're because they you will never leave them you never leave their heart so because of this hunger they're looking and trying to understand why they can't get you out um, and they've tried they've tried to push it down they've tried to deny it um, but it just keeps resurfacing and resurrecting within them so they have a grateful heart they realize that this is a magical gift and they truly truly want to talk to you um, and communicate to you with within the next few days i'm i'm feeling and they just they are visualizing this tender embrace between the two of you one thing about the masculine energy, they're very cautious. And the reason why they're very cautious about coming in, communicating, is they're, they're vulnerable. And that vulnerability um, instinctively wants them to protect their heart. They don't want it to be broken. They feel like you're too good to be true. Like you're like the most beautiful. You're... You're everything the masculine has been dreaming of their entire life. 
Sorry, folks, I have really bad allergies their entire life. So instinctively, they want to protect their heart from being broken. Like you're like a dream to them, an angel, a goddess, a princess. And they're like, as much as they want to embrace you and have that tender embrace, they're still reluctant because, you know, there's that little bit of reluctance there because they don't want a broken heart. Their heart has been broken many times in the past. Your masculine energy is kind, um, so caring, so nurturing. And as a result, they have been, um, I want to say, abused because of that caring kindness that they have. And that's one of the lessons that some of the masculines need to learn. And that's to stand in their own power and not be uh, manipulated by narcissists. And believe it or not, masculine has had some very terrible narcissistic relationships. Um, as I said, they they know your twin flames. Um, they're ascending and, and graduating to the next soul level, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, feminine energy, you may feel this sense of um, uh, connection, very, very strongly connected to your masculine. Your masculine is very strongly connected to you. But they're also very strongly connected to Source, God, Divine, Universe. Very connected. And they are actually listening to the voice of the heart. And they're getting strong pushes just to follow through with what they truly feel. And that's the love they feel for you. And just to make a move. And not just eliminate that fear of rejection. And they're feeling connection bliss they're just they just know that this is the love that they've been waiting for that this is truly is true love and there is so many truths coming to the masculine energy and it's phenomenal and i love it all so very much um one thing i always i always believe and that is there's no coincidences in life so if something comes to you and it keeps coming to you it's a valuable message for you and one of the um, messengers, I believe, on our journeys of life are beautiful animals. And they present themselves when they're meant to present themselves, and it means something. I know when I was in physical separation with my twin, um, what kept coming to me um, were doves. And to me, I see them every day now, but they were coming every day, like without fail, even in the winter. And um, to me, that, that represents harmony, love, peace, balance, nurturing, all sorts of beautiful, beautiful things. But it also means messenger. And I'm, I'm a messenger on this journey. But I also saw hawks. And I never saw them in my entire life before. Um, and I saw them almost daily as well. But the um, totem spirit for masculine energy is um, number 40. And it's mouse spirit. And it says, tend to the small things. And that's exactly what the masculine's doing. They're ending all cycles. And the love that you emanate for each other gives that masculine strength to end these cycles because of their caring, nurturing nature. And, and the wisdom is coming to them as they unravel and get to their true authenticity. So they know that this is a toxic cycle they need to complete. One thing is, is when it, it's a journey of self-love, it's a journey to oneself and to rediscover um, yourself and who you're truly meant to be on this earth. And we are meant to be, um, I want to say, disciples of unconditional love. And we're meant to radiate and emanate unconditional love to all those around us. And that is exactly what the masculine energy knows. They know that you can conquer the world together. So um, one thing is, is just to be patient, feminine energy, know that this is a journey of self-love and rediscovery of oneself. And you have to find oneself in order for you to find each other in the physical, in the 3D world. So it, it you know, it, I know there's a lot of stuff out there and I, I, I know I've written thousands of pages and you know, I used to dwell on the separation, but once I started dwelling on the love for oneself, that's when the true magic and beauty occurred. 
between my beloved and I. And I'm all I want and I pray each and every day for each and one of you is to find the beauty of oneself, have that love for oneself, so that you can ultimately navigate towards each other. You are connected in a way that no two, two people are connected, energetically and magnetically. And sometimes you wanna just cut the cord. It can't, you can't, because you always migrate back to that love. That's what God, universe, divine wants. He wants you to feel this love. Um, because some of you, many of you, all of you, I don't know, whatever resonates, have had severe trauma. And we're not meant to navigate our life with trauma. We're me meant to navigate our life with unconditional love. And that's exactly what the masculine energy has for you. They're feeling blissful, connected, and very, very connected to you. And they truly are tending to the small things. So if they can say anything to you right now, feminine energy, what would it be? And the message is, love generates love. You will receive positive confirmation of this in the next few days. Keep on loving you, and you will keep on receiving ever greater blessings in return. And that's exactly it. Keep on loving you, and I feel um, like there's no coincidences with these cards. I have one that says, I plan on communicating with you very soon. And this one says, um, you will receive positive confirmation of this. No coincidence. The message is a message. And the next beautiful message for you is life is constantly changing. Yet at, it, yet at its core, it remains the same. Love does not change. It only grows stronger. Change is simply love unfolding. It's a never ending story. And you both are changing. Um, and that's exactly what it is. And you're just shedding all of all of that trauma and garbage and coming into the most beautiful version of yourself and i love it all so very much so that's the masculine energy what's the feminine energy beautiful beautiful feminine energy uh just energy i always say this you know from time to time is don't get caught in um that I want to say spiritual trap that if you're of female anatomy, you are of female um, energy. Because when I was navigating through my journey, I realized that I was predominantly masculine energy. We interchange and we're supposed to get to that, I want to say yin and yang energy, that healthy balance, but just don't get caught in that trap. So um, beautiful, beautiful message for you, f feminine energy. It's a little kind of um, tough, but also beautiful. And how do I, wh why do I mean tough? Um, I, I feel like many of you are seeing um, incredible signs and synchronicities. And um, I like to share my journey with you because sometimes it just gives clarification on the journey itself. Um, before I came into physical essence, like back into physical reunion with my be beautiful beloved soul, I was seeing crazy signs and sinks. And to me, that was divine God telling me that, first of all, this is truly your journey, and I'm delivering these signs and sinks for you to restore and keep the faith in your heart. Everything will come in divine time. And that's exactly it, a feminine energy. Know your masculine is graduating to the next level within their soul. And, they're, and the re, they're, they're finding who they truly are. And I feel like you're, you know, two steps ahead of them in your spiritual journey and your soul growth and everything else. They're leading behind you, but they're following you, if that makes any sense. Some of you are learning some pretty tough lessons right now. Um, and again, I don't know who this message is for. Pack away what resonates and what does not, please. Um, you were in your... You're reluctant to learn the lesson so you're 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 trapped in this cycle of you know it could be in in a uh, narcissistic relationship abuse addiction um whatever form it may be and you're not learning that lesson and you're meant to learn lessons and just move on from them that's why you know it's okay to revisit the past because the past reminds us of the lessons that we are meant to learn. But if you're perpetuating the same thing over and over again, you're failing to learn the lesson. So I don't know who that message is for, but I do feel like some of you have um, learned some very valuable lessons. It's difficult.
because even though you learn the lessons, you often sometimes go back and re repeat. That's not what Divine God's um, Source wants for you. Wants for you to learn the lesson and move on from it and not harbor any bitterness or, yeah, harbor any bitterness. Um, the one thing that's kind of uh, coming, standing out right now too, is this, this I want to say this perpetual confusion. And it, it is, that is one of the biggest, I want to say, nemesis that plagues each of us on this journey. It just doesn't plague feminine energy, it plagues masculine energy. This confusion, is this what I feel it is? Is this love in the heart truly, truly what it is? And if you, because when two people love each other, they're together, right? So this physical separation doesn't make any sense because if this love is so fierce so divine so godly why would you be apart and is this just a fabrication in in one's head is is I'm, am i seeing things that are truly not there um it's part of the journey i know when i came in um to my twin physically and then we went our separate ways i truly truly thought about checking myself in to a hospital um, the accelerated awakening process and all of this random trembling and shaking and all of these um, you know going to different dimensions hearing things uh, dreaming you know astral project like it was just to me it was too much it was too much to digest it was happening also very quickly it's natural um, I always say, trust your gut. Something led you to this. And it was, I think it was you. So something led you to believe that this is your divine uh, soul, the other, the other, I want to say, half of your soul. So if something led you there, it, it, was, it was you and your soul and, and to, to, to find the truth. So just, just believe in you. Um, I have the second chakra for you. I feel maybe some of you have some lower back pain. If that's the case, then your sacral chakra is blocked. Listen to uh, meditation and it'll help clear. But for some of you, it's wide open and your creativity is peaking right now. When you both come into each other, you, you, there's a spark. Obviously, it's a flame and ignites within each of you. And once this flame ignites, it ignites all sorts of wonderful creativity within you. And you're just flowing with creativity. Now is a moment to listen. And if you have some something creative, follow through with it because you will be most successful. One thing too, um, feminine energy is what I love about this beauty of, of your um, energy today. And again, just it's energy is not static it changes from day to day you continue to meditate unconditional love and the masculine energy can feel this love the more you meditate unconditional love the more the masculine feels it and the more it pushes him to move forward believe it or not sometimes when you're in um, physical separation you don't always know what each other are doing but you're connected in a way at that is often you cannot articulate words it's energy you, you the love that you emanate between each other is so powerful it is the heart is powerful that energy in the heart is so so powerful and one of the things that i i did before we came into physical reunion was meditate and i was very religious about meditating and i meditated and manifested physical touch morning noon and night and one of the things that i used to um, meditate was i love you i love me i love us i love we and i do i used to repeat that repeat that until i was into this deep trance like meditation and it just it it, it i can't express enough how much meditation and manifestation works it truly truly does but the love that you're emanating from your heart right now, the masculine can feel it. And that's why um, they're, they're move, they want to communicate to you. They want to move forward. It's because of your love of each other. And I love it so much. 
Um, I, I feel like there, and I've been feeling like this for the last couple days with the Twin Flame Collective, that there are doors opening, offers coming, but this is a door to communication. And it's, it is it is a start. And I am so, so happy for you. As I said, some of you um, are feeling a little confused. I, I, I want to say um, you're you're getting to your true self too and you're and you're peeling away the false layers of yourself and for every layer that you peel away there's self-discovery and self-awareness some of you um, are crying uncontrollably you don't know where this crying is coming from let me help you here um, the sobbing first of all the crying is so so therapeutic it, it is a it's not a form of weakness it's a form of courage because you're releasing all of this toxins out, out of your body. I think it's 32 toxins to be quite honest. But when you get into these uncontrollable sobs, you're usually clearing karma and you don't even realize that. So you're clearing all of this past ancestry trauma. It could be post-traumatic stress disorder. It could be addiction. It could be abuse. It could be so many things. And you're healing that for your family. What if a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful soul um, you, you you have been selected to do this. It's tough, and sometimes it doesn't seem fair, but you've got the audacity and the strength to do it, and it's beautiful. So sometimes if you're trying to understand where that's coming from, you're healing a lifetime of wounds and what a soldier you are. So bravo to you. And the last, the last thing I have for you, oh, I didn't do your... Oh, yes, I did. Um, animal totem, totem, beautiful message. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful totem today. It's a swan, and it's time for a deep dive. Um, I love the swan. The swan is so significant. When two swans come together, they form a heart. And I find swans very significant in just love, divine love, twin flame love, twin soul, however you resonate. I find it such a beautiful, beautiful... Um, Omen. I remember uh, uh, several weeks ago, I was taking some recycling outside, and it was it was still cool here in Canada. And generally, swans aren't like you know flying in the cool weather. And two beautiful white swans flew over, and I'm like, wow, you know what a sight to see. Um, beautiful um, feminine energy, swan spirit. And if that's a sign that you've been waiting for. That's your sign today. It's time for a deep dive. That deep dive is you and the self-love that you are so fully deserving of. Keep manif manifesting, meditating that unconditional love. Your twin, your masculine can totally feel the love. And just know that they always love you. It's tough, right? It's not easy. You're in physical separation. And it, as I said earlier, you want nothing more than just to be with that person. Like, it's so frustrating and confusing. It's a journey to oneself. And once you get to that final destination, once you get to the self-discovery and the self-love, then you find the destination of each other. And that's what I have. I have two beautiful messages for the, ma for the feminine, for the masculine. And it is, everything happens for a reason. And even though the reason is sometimes unclear, I graciously accept all that transpires in the knowing that it unfolds through love in accordance with the divine will of my soul. And that's exactly, exactly it. Um, everything unfolds through love. The, lo uh, the, the heart, the energy, it can be felt over continents on the other side of the world. That's how powerful the heart energy is, and it's beautiful. And the next message is, a profound transformation is taking place in your life. Be yourself. You have much to offer the world by just being you. Your love has the power to transform all things, including your relationship and love life. And that's exactly it, feminine energy. The masculine is going through a profound transformation. And as a result of this, they're getting all sorts of truth, wisdom, and vision. And that vision is you. And they want to communicate and tell you exactly what is in their heart. So that's what I have for you beautiful souls today. 
Um, if any of this resonates, kindly hit the subscribe, notification bell, like, comment. We love to hear your comments. Have a beautiful day, folks.